I had a note written down that's, uh, God, like probably two weeks old now, if that, maybe not, I don't know, about uh, doing a rant on technology versus packaging, but it's been so long that I am scarcely remember what precisely it was about it that inspired it, because this is sort of a thing that it's been in my head for a while, ever since I encountered uh, a Ted Nelson rant. And of course, Ted Nelson is famous for rants. It's what he does best. But um, he was just sort of like, well, all these things that are getting called technologies, they're not technologies, they're packaging. And I was like, okay, like, and he goes into detail about it. I can't remember. I would link the video that he does that in, but I don't remember which it is, and I don't want to go through his entire back catalog to try to dig that out. But, um, like, this is how I understand it. You have technologies that are more like a light bulb And then you have technologies that are more like a movie projector. And you don't need to read too much into the fact that they're both Edison's, but um, there's like a, a spectrum maybe that you, that you would place these two things on. And what the difference is, and it also incidentally that the the projector includes a light bulb, but it's not really the point either. In the light bulb kind of invention, the, there's like one thing that you have to figure out that you don't know, and that's like a fil the filament or something analogous to it. Um, whereas the projector uh, is... It's like a, it's got this sort of an envelope that works of possible configurations. But other than that, you go and you just basically go shopping for parts and you sort of put them together. And I mean, obviously you go shopping for parts for the light bulb too. And this is sort of like what makes this like analysis a little bit on the tenuous side. But like when you sort of think about the light bulb, um, what it sort of represents like, okay, so, you know, blowing glass, that's like, you know, centuries, millennia old, the metallurgy on the, you know, thingy, the uh, screw surface or whatever, electricity, okay, they'd figured that out for like, I don't know, a century prior to this, like, um, and so like, the point of the light bulb is like, it's a fairly simple thing or, Rather, the point is more like there is one or a few, although I would say that you probably can only really do one at a time, unknowns, like it's a thing that you just don't know how to do, like, and, you, and that's the thing that you're trying to figure out. So you could put like batteries in this category, um, battery technology, is a very, uh, um, like, it's like, because you're trying to figure out the chemistry, like, what's the one thing? Like, batteries in principle, okay, we get that, but, like, this particular kind of battery, uh, we don't know how to do that yet, but we, we're pretty sure we can because there's theory behind it. And so, like, mm, like internal combustion engine, I don't know how you draw, like, you know, I draw one of those things, like, whatever, pistons, blah, um, would be more on the, the, uh, the side of the projector. And again, like there's this sort of like, like getting the sort of the principle. So like the, the internal combustion engine was invented by, um, like a surgeon, I think, or, um, but it was the atomizer, like a perfume sprayer, um, 
that uh, that had it sort of figured out. And then I guess, yeah, like, interesting side effect, though, like, the diesel engine is a... Um, is is actually more sophisticated than the than the regular gasoline engine because it is um, it it takes advantage of the fact that like diesel burns at a lower temperature so you can just use the pressure uh, of compressing the vapor to to light it on fire whereas you actually need a spark plug for the for for gasoline I always assume that diesel came first and and gasoline came second but it's not it's the other way around. Um, but the point, I guess, is that, like, there's kind of, like, a deep end that this goes off when you're, like, you know, what, uh, um, is the, like, how invention-y, like, how technology-y is it anymore? Because something like the project, like, something like a car, okay, like, like, I would argue that a car, the, the automobile is actually not a technology per se. It's a configuration. Like, the, the internal combustion engine is, is absolutely a technology. But, like, a car, you know, let's do, like, a little, do a Pontiac Aztec. <laughs> um, but, uh, be, and the reason why is because you can have also like there's like there's a sort of set of configurations that will work. There's a sort of envelope of configure. You can sort of think of it as like a phase space, you know, whatever, uh, like a vector space, where like the configurations of the parts like need to be in a certain topological structure. Sure. Um, but the, the sort of the final geometry, again, there's going to need to be like a certain geometry. Like it doesn't make any sense if like, you know, the, the, the projectors, you know, lens aims inside of it, like kind of thing. Like that's like dumb. Um, but the, the idea is that like, there's this sort of like the sort of unknownness of it. Like there's like, this had an unknown thing. This has an unknown thing, but like this, everything that goes into something like a movie projector was already figured out. Like the film, the, like the light bulb, you know, the gearing, the optics, this is like centuries, like that, all that stuff was figured out. And so this was a more of a, like a bricolage of parts than it was like trying to discover or solve a particular problem. And there's Preston. The reason why I picked the, the film projectors is because in Europe, there were other people making film cameras and projectors that were different, fundamentally different than what Edison was doing in the US. But they all they still all had the same general parts. Like they were still all uh, you know, they had the sort of same basic configuration. So there's like almost like a bill of materials or like a basic design that will, you know, create. And I mean, the same sort of thing goes for light bulbs. But again, the filament was important. Like, you know, and you can put stuff in here like penicillin, even though penicillin was invented by accident. But like, you know, there's the one unknown thing or the N unknown things, but like these didn't have any unknown things. And then, you know, when you have like, you know, mobile phones and whatever. Same sort of thing. You see, like, a mobile phone on a breadboard, like, all the parts are just sitting on the desk. It's, like, oh, the, on, the, on the workbench. In principle, it's a phone, but, like, the, uh, you know, trying to get it into that uh, brick shape and trying to fit all the parts together, that's, like, a, you know, that's, a, that's a, still an engineering problem. But I guess my point here is... The farther you sort of go down this line, the less technology y the thing is, and the more bricolage y and the more like Lego y it is. Um, and uh, that was really just the, the exploration that I wanted to do. And so I finally did it. Anyway, and I finished my coffee.